Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine, that's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. Before we start, I want to say that I really appreciate your supportive comments. I always read them and try to answer them as many as I can. It really means a lot to me, especially when I upload new video and I'm a little nervous about how you will respond. I'm super grateful for all of your support. You do inspire me to keep making these videos. Also good news, from now on I'm going to include project files from tutorials in the description for free. Let's get started. We will not use any external plugins for this effect, not even green screen or rotoscoping. You will need only camera, tripod and any version of After Effects. So go to File, Import, File. I select my footage here, click Import. Just drag and drop your footage on this icon here to create new composition. So here you need to know how to film this. This is not the best way to do this, because uh, the best way would be to use green screen room. But I decided to make this tutorial on lowest budget possible. So you need to place your camera on tripod. Make sure that light doesn't change in your scene and no one is moving. Then you need to choose place where you want to clone yourself. I decided to stay here, so my clones will run from this point in each direction. So basically you press record on your camera and start running in each direction like this. And go back and do the same. So you would have these different shots. Also you need to run out of the frame completely like this. So you would have this clean plate. I'm gonna cut this composition to this point. Right mouse click here and choose trim comp to work area. Now let's find clean plate. So choose this pen behind tool here and click on layer and start dragging left. As you can see in this way I can move throughout the shot. So here I ran out from the frame. Let's duplicate this composition. Go to edit, duplicate or control D on keyboard. Then right mouse click on this composition and go to time, freeze frame and place it below. Press return on keyboard to rename it. I'll call it background. And here using pen behind tool let's find the place where I stay still like this. Just press Ctrl D on keyboard to duplicate. Right mouse click on this layer below and go to time, freeze frame. Now let's choose this pen tool here and activate its solo mode here. Then using scroll on mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out from the frame. Also hold spacebar on keyboard to move around your image, like this. Now let's cut out ourselves. For this effect we will not use rotoscoping. Now press F on keyboard and set it feather to like 5. Then close here and shut this off. I'll rename it this layer to me. Go to effect, blur and sharpen. Fast Blur. Here choose Horizontal and set it to 15. Let's shut this layer off to see our frame. Now hold Alt on keyboard and left mouse click on this stopwatch here. Here we will type expression wiggle open bracket 12 comma 25 and close brackets and click anywhere. So now we have this effect. We can control amount of blur here, I'll set it to 3. And now we have this glitch effect. Ok, it looks good, let's now add some clones. Let's rename this layer to 1, enable it. And let's use this pen behind tool. Then left mouse click and hold. And scroll throughout the image to find where I start running, like this. Ok, let's look from first frame. Here I start running, it's good. Now let's see where I left the frame, like this. And cut this layer to this moment. Use this selection tool here. Click and drag it over here. Now let's work with this layer. At very last frame of this layer, it should be clean shot like this. Make sure that even shadows are not in the frame. This is bad one. This is also bad. And here it's great. So once you found your clean plate, press Ctrl D on keyboard and then right mouse click on it and go to time, freeze frame. And let's rename it 1BG. Drag it below and shut this off. Now select this layer and let's go to effect, keying, difference math. 
It is a very cool effect to use when you are tight on budget and you need to make some effects which requires to have green screen. Like this effect here. I made it completely with this effect and not using rotoscoping or green screen at all. Link to this tutorial is in description. And in difference layer let's set it to 1 BG. And now we start to see result. Let's enable solo mode here and change it to about 2 or 3. And you need to play with this value so your character will be in place and background should not be seen. In my case 4 is pretty good. This is a good result. Let's also add effect math math choker. As you can see it worked pretty good. Let's uncheck this. Press Ctrl D on keyboard. Then use this pen behind tool again. And let's find other path. I just drag throughout this layer. You can shut this layer off. And let's find the moment where I start running. Now let's find another clone. Ctrl D on keyboard. Hide this layer by clicking on this eyeball. And let's work with this third layer. And again let's use this pen behind tool. And let's find another path. This looks good. We need to extend this layer a little bit. Great. Again let's duplicate this layer. Shut this layer off. And now let's find the worst case in which light in your scene could change. So I found this example here. So what you need to do. Let's go to solo mode. As you can see it got really bad. And we cannot actually fix this by using just these values. So in this case you need to find new clean background. Like this. Let's duplicate it. Delete these effects. As you can see it's pretty clean shot. So now we can right mouse click on this layer and go to time. Freeze frame. Press return on keyboard. To rename it for BG. So basically we created new difference math. Let me tell you how this effect works. So this effect looks in this layer which we are setting here. In our case 4BG. This which we created just now. And trying to see what is different in these both layers. As you can see only difference between these two layers is me. So all we need to do is just to shut this off. Place it below. And in this effect with this value here we can adjust this difference math. Your value could be different so see what works best for your shot. In my case it's 6 and now I'm just drawing this mask here by using this rectangle tool here. Let's switch off solo mode and enable all of these layers. So now as you can see we have these 4 clones. Let's find this layer with horrible keying. So to find your layer which you need you can just enable and disable all of your layers one by one. So this layer we need right now. As you can see. Let's try to improve this keying. I increase this choke value to about 45. And let's also increase this to about 8. Now it looks much better. And now let's add some motion blur. Just select the layer. Go to effect. Blur and sharpen. Fast blur. I'll set it to about 10. Then go to horizontal and click on this stopwatch here. And press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. Then drag it over a bit. And about here let's set it to 3. So as you can see I left some blur to hide bad keying. Let's copy this effect. So select it and press Ctrl C on keyboard. Then go to this layer here. Go to very beginning and press Ctrl V on keyboard to paste. Also repeat this step with this layer, Ctrl V, and with this layer right here also. So now we have this motion blur at the beginning. Now let's move these layers like this. So that looks pretty good. And look carefully. Maybe some of layers will overlap like this. So you need just to enable and disable your layers to find the right one. In my case it's second layer. And move it below all of your clones like this. Look carefully again and make sure that all of your layers looks good. In my case you can see that this is still looks wrong and trying to place it in right order like this. Then you can select all of your clones and press Ctrl D on keyboard. Drag them below and drag it them over like this. As you can see we have this gap here and here a bad keying. So you can find this layer behind by enabling and disabling all of your layers. So in my case it's second. And you can move it over to fill that gap. 
and it looks way better. You can again select all of your layers, duplicate them and make more copies. But for this tutorial I think it's enough. Now let's select our background layer, press Ctrl D on keyboard to make a copy, drag it over here, right mouse click on it and go to time, enable time remapping. Select pen behind tool and let's find the end of this video. Just click and drag to the very end of your video. Then select selection tool and let's cut it to needed moment. And this is the end of my video. As you can see here light is changed. Press T on keyboard. Make a keyframe by pressing on this stopwatch here. And here let's set it to zero. So now it blends better. But you can also go to effect, color correction, curves. This is why it's very important that your light in your scene would not change. So now it looks pretty good. And let's drag to our clones here. Excellent. Now let's see result. If you want me to recreate effects from your favorite popular movies or videos, just leave a comment with a link and timecode so I could easily understand which effect you want me to make. And now let's see other chat here. Exactly the same technique. Just place your main layer above of all your clones. This project from this tutorial you can download from description below. If you want to support my channel, you can buy templates from my portfolio. Link is in description. Also, you can check this site. They have lots of After Effects templates. And even few items for free each month, like After Effects slideshow, 3D model, mockup and more. Link to stuff for free is in description. I hope you like this effect. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.